in the ever-changing landscapes of the wetlands, where pixelated waters mirror the fluidity of a virtual world, Star Stiku D, the formidable dwarven hunter, stands taller than the average short king, as a four-foot-three solitary figure. And while Star Stiku D has the looks of a typical neckbeer-driven dwarven hunter, he is, in fact, a fucking bot. As the digital sun sets and rises, Stars DQD is a relentless force of algorithmic precision and engages in an eternal campaign against the indigenous murlocs because his creator's mother never loved him. Each encounter unfolds with a calculated brutality that transcends the transient nature of the virtual realm. The meandering waters become a canvas for a ceaseless ballet of predation, and the bot unyielding in its adherence to programming, remains the unwavering enforcer of its scripted destiny. Staskit continues to stack bands to the ceiling, unafraid because Blizzard doesn't ban bots. That would dip too much into their quarterly earnings. No, in this land, despite being hated by the local boomers, Stas DQD is free, free to farm. The bot's actions, devoid of spontaneity, paint a poignant picture of an entity ensnared by its own programming. The dynamic ecosphere of Azeroth transforms, champions come and go, but Stasik, he remains an unyielding constant, forever locked in a loop of murloc extermination, a dance choreographed by lines of code that could only possibly end if Blizzard would just look. I mean, it's pretty obvious after all. Against the backdrop of the ever-shifting wetlands, Stastiku D showcases the stoic determination of a resourceful South American man exploiting the lazy American's inability to value something called delayed gratification. I mean, the stoic determination of a fierce dwarven warrior, clearly. This relentless pursuit of gold remains his unalterable fate, a testament to the inherent limitations of his artificial existence. As other players engage with tremendously powerful dragons, witness the evolution of Azeroth, and spend their money to avoid the mechanics that they say make classic classic, Stasty QD remains tethered to the digital marshes, his existence a permanent reminder to those that don't swipe that we are just broke bitches who could never come close to being this good at the game. And so Stastik persists, a solitary figure in the ever-changing landscapes of the wetlands, forever bound to his code and forever unlikely to be banned.